Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here again. We have reached now to the last lecture of uh, the uh, security on the wireless. And in this lecture, I have to speak about the connect list. So as you can see here, we have a lab of 13 pawns. But before I start doing those pawns, let's go to the lab scenario to explain to you what we need to do in this lab. Then I will come back to the pawns and start doing them. This is our lab scenario. We have router one, as usual, it is an access pawn. And router two is a station. But now what we have more is another router which is also acting as an access point. Both routers, the router 1 and router 3, which are access points, they are propagating an SSID which is MTCWE. So that means this station it can choose either to go to the router 3 or to go to router 1. So here what we can do is we can create the connect list on the router 2 to say to which of the router he wants to connect. Let's imagine that router 3 is an intruder. Okay, that means it is an access point that somebody who is an attacker has put it and he is using the same SSID. So if I connect to it, then all my traffic will pass through router 3, then he can intercept all my traffic. So what I want to do is just to make and connect this to say that I want to connect only to router 1 and uh, that's it. And if there is anyone who is using the same SSID, I don't want to connect to it. So that's something we can do it inside the connect list. So this is the first part of the lab. I will explain to you what we need to do in the second part of the lab. In the second part of the lab, let's imagine that also those two are access points. And uh, this one is a station. And uh, those two access points are good. So that means they are the uh, from my network. So there is no more intruder here. But what I would like to do here is that in case my signal is in some level, then I can go to this access point and connect to this access point. But in case my signal is in another level, then I will not connect to here anymore and connect to this access point. So this also can be done on the connect list. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. So again, connect list, you do it from the client side. So that means from the station, which is the MicroTik router over here. And uh, from uh, that side, you will say to which access point you want to connect. So that's the idea of the connect list. So now we know what we need to do in the lab. Let's go to the points and start doing them. Point number one on router two, scan the wireless. Do you see two SSID having the name of MTCWE? So let's put the picture and let's do that. We go to router, this is router two, this is router one. And also we have router three, this one. So now what I need to do, I just let's make a scan. So from here we have to go to the wireless and we make scan and let's do start and let's have a look. Do we have two MTCWE? And indeed you can see them over here. So that means we do have two access points propagating as a MTCWE. Okay, so now the uh, we want to check the uh, station on which of the two he wants to connect. So we have two access points as you can see here. Point number one is done. Point number two, copy the MAC address of the right uh, access point. And that means, let's say here, that router one is the right one. So what we can do is uh, from this scan over here, the uh, one for router one, I believe it is this one, which is DE30. But what we can do also, we can go to router one directly and we take the MAC address from here on general. This one, DE30. So this is the same as you can see. So I will copy this one because we need now to add it inside the connect list. Point number two is done. Point number three on the WLAN one of router two, uncheck default authenticate. So what does it mean here? If we go to router two, we do have on here on the wireless default authenticate. Default authenticate on the station side means it can automatically get authenticated and connected to an access point. And that's something I don't want to have it. So I want to take out the default authenticate and I want that this station to authenticate only to the access point that I put them inside the connect list. And then I will say here, okay. Point number three is done. Point number four, add an entry of router two in the connect list to connect to the right access point. So let's go again to router two. And you can see because I took out default authenticate, it's not anymore uh, connected to router one. Now we need to go to connect list to say that you have to connect to router one. And from here inside the connect list, I will make plus. And from here, the interface is WLAN1. The MAC address over here is the MAC address of router1. So I will 
paste it over here. So this is uh, the MAC address of router one, which I have copied uh, earlier. And uh, then I will make this connect check. That means connect to this access point. And we can put here the SSID MTCW. That's the SSID here. And now I will say, okay, so in a moment we shall see directly that we got connected. So you see, we have an R here, we have an R here, and inside the registration table is showing up. So now I'm connected to router one, but that's not enough because I also want to say that do not connect to any other access points which has the SSID MTCWE. So that's something also I have to do with directly now. Point number four is done. Point number five, Add the second entry in the connect list to not connect to any other access point having the SSID as MTCWE. So why we need to do that? Because let's say that router one is off. Then in this case, router two would check for another router, which is an access point having an SSID MTCWE and it will try to connect to it. Okay. Now, of course, because we have made the default authenticate unchecked, then this uh, will uh, secure us that it doesn't authenticate to any other. But if the default authenticate is still checked, then it will authenticate to the other access point. But the best to do is to go to connect list now and uh, to make another entry. And here in this entry, I will say that any other MAC address for any other access point which has MTCWE as SSID, then do not connect to it. So you see, I just make here, uncheck the connect, and then I will say here, okay. That means in case we have the default authenticate checked, then in this case, it will come the first one. Are you able to connect to a router one, and which is an access point? And if router one is off or the signal is not working or they have problem, then in this case, uh, they will say that the router one is not available, then it go to the second rule. The second rule, any other MTCWE SSID from any other access point, it's not possible to connect. So no, that means it will not connect to any other access point. And that will make us secure against any other access points uh, which are uh, made by an intruder. Okay, point number five is done. Point number six, disable and enable WLAN1 on router two. To which access point did you get connected? So actually we got uh, connected directly. So uh, that point is done. But if you want, again, we can do it. So if you want to go to router two again, and over here on the wireless, I will disable. And uh, you will see that it's not anymore in the registration table of router one. If I enable, it should directly show me inside the registration table of router one. It can connect only to router one. Port number seven, remove both entries in the connect list. So now we need to do the second part of uh, this lab is to make uh, possible that uh, the station, which is router two to connect to the router one and to router three based on the signal. So now router three is a good access point. So we have to check how we can do that. Let's remove the entries of the uh, connect list over here. So I will remove both of them. Point number seven is done. Point number eight, create a security profile on router one, which is MTC WE123, and we have to assign it to WLAN1. So router one should have this password, and router three should have MTC WE321. So we just want to create security profiles on the access point. So let's do that. We go to router one first, and uh, from here, what I need to do is to go to the security profile, and I will create a profile and it should be on router one MTCWE123. And then I need to apply this profile inside WLAN1 of router one. So that's something we already know how to do it. So it is there. So this is done for router one. Let's go to router three now. This is router three. And on wireless also, I'll go to the security profile. I create this profile two here. And uh, it is MTCWE, but then in this case, it is three to one. So MTCWE is three to one. And then I will say here, okay. And now I will go to the wireless and then I will assign it inside the security profile here, profile two, and that's it. So that means the access point of router one is on the same SSID MTCWE. Uh, it, it needs a password to any stage to connect to it, which is MTC WE123. And router 3 needs a password, which is MTC WE321. 
Okay, so let's see now what we need to do for the upcoming point. Point number eight is done, point number nine is done, point number ten. Now, on the router two, we have to create two security profiles also. The one which we created them for the router one and router three. Alright, because we need to use them to connect to router one and router three. So let's go to router two, and from here, I will create the security profile. Profile one is MTCWE123, that is profile one. And profile two is MTCWE321. So I just created the profile, but I do not now apply any of those security profiles to the wireless. We need to apply them when we work on the connect list. Point number 10 is done. Point number 11, create an entry in the connect list of router 2 to connect to router 1 with the right uh, security profile and signal between minus one, uh, 120 and minus 70. So what does it mean here? So if we go back to here, I'm saying, okay, that uh, both router 1 and router 3 they are still access point and both are for me but what i want to say here that uh, this one has uh, we said the uh, password mtcwe123 and this one is mtcwe321 so router 2 can connect to any of those two but what i want to do here is to say that if you want to connect to router 1 then in case your signal is between, they said here, minus 120 and minus 70. So if it's between minus 120 and minus 70, then you connect to router 1. If your signal is between minus 69 and 120, then you connect to router 3. Of course, the signal on router 2 should be in this range. So we will end up at the end seeing that router 2 is going to connect to router 3 always. Okay, but we have also to create the connect list here, the entries. And on the first entry, we said this is for router 1 and we have to put the password, which is right. And also the second one, which is for router 3, and we have to put the password, but also we have to put the signal level. So here I just want to show you that you can play with the password and with the signal level. And that's what they are saying here to us. If we go back, create an entry in the connect list of router 2 to connect to router 1 with the right security profile and signal between minus 120 and minus 70. So let's do that. We go to this is router 2. Let's make it open like this big so you can see what I'm doing. And then I will go to connect list. I will make a, a new entry and now we need to put the MAC address of router 1. Let's take the MAC address of router 1 again. That is router 1. I will take the MAC address, copy. And uh, now over here I will paste the MAC address and I will say to connect to router 1 in case the signal is between minus 120 and minus 70. So that's the signal strength and over here don't forget to put the profile one which is the same password as router one mtcwe123 and then i will say here okay so that is the first then it will check if it doesn't work then it has to check the second one which we have to do it directly point number 11 is done point number 12 create an entry also inside the connect list of router 2 to connect to router 3 with the right security profile and signal between minus 69 and 120. So of course our signal is between minus 69 and 120. That means it will at the end connect to router 3. But let's try it. So we go now again to router 2 and uh, we create another connect list entry. And now we need to take the MAC address of router 3. So this is router 3 and we go to general. We take the MAC address of router 3, copy. And then I come back here. I paste it and the SSID is MTCWE and over here if the signal is between minus 69 so this should be minus 69 and 120 then connect to it and here we have to put the profile too okay so let's do apply. Let's check if we put here the uh, SSID. So we didn't put it. Let's put it here, MTCWE, and connect. So now what we have here is the following. 
if router 2 want to connect to one of the access points, it will come to the connect list. The first connect list saying, okay, you want to connect to the SSID MTCWE, that's fine. Then you can connect to router 1. But is your signal between minus 20 and minus 70? If yes, then you connect to it directly. If not, then you will not connect to it. And here we have put the security profile, which is the same as the security profile of router 1. Then if the signal is not between minus 120 and minus 70, it will go to the second. Then it will say, you want to connect to the MTC WSSID? Yes. And uh, then you can connect to router 3. Is there a signal between minus 69 and 120? Yes. Then you have this, the right security profile? Yes. Then you connect to the router 3. So this is what it's saying over here. Point number 12 is done. Point number 13, to which access point did router 2 connect and why? Let's have a look. This is uh, router 2 here. Let's check and we see, let's disable it and enable it, okay? To see to which of the router did it get connected. So if we go to router 1 on uh, the, this is router 1, let's put it like this. This is router 1 here, this is router 2. On router 1, registration, nothing. But on router 3, this is router 3 now, registration yes it is there why it is connected to this one because look first it is the same ssid then it is using this uh, the right mac address of router 3 but the most important is the signal you see the signal is between because here we have listed here we said if your signal is between minus 69 and 120 so you can see the signal level is between minus 69 and 120 then that's why it is connected to router 3. Point number 13 is done. And uh, with this point, I have showed you a very nice lab about the uh, connect uh, list. That's a, a lab uh, which uh, can really cover everything regarding connect list. So the idea of connect list is to say for the station to which access point he needs to get connected. And that's the main idea. And based on that, you can do the manipulation and the settings. So you can say to which of the access points the uh, station can connect. So we have reached to the last lab of the security on the wireless. So I have covered everything which is possible to do security on the wireless. So I hope that uh, this lecture was informative for you and I will see you in the upcoming lecture.